Grieving and in disbelief following the brutal killing of the two sisters in Vinduk yesterday. This continuous heinous crime in the country has disturbed the president and decided to come and see for himself the areas where these crimes are mostly committed. Here, family members of the deceased, joined by Kumasdal constituency councillor Margaret Mensa Williams, met the president as he arrived to inspect the area. Expressing his condolences to the family, the message to the security forces was loud and clear. We'll take action about this infamous riverbed. I've been hearing about this riverbed where crimes are committed. So I was just talking to the police officers, both the city and the Nampo, that we may have to maybe just first clear up this whole bush. Lay it up, lead it if nothing, and police to patrol it. That will be the first action. And both police and the army, I think, will patrol it. According to the school principal, the deceased was well known at the school as the sister to the teacher. And then we suspected nothing from him. We never expected this can happen. It's really devastating us because um, even yesterday, Friday, he carried out his duties. Uh, he was also even vigilating the gratins we were writing where the deceased was. So we never expected this can happen. And then it happened immediately after school. And he was at school and with no sign of uh, intention that uh, maybe he's going to do something. President Gainkop also visited the bush area near the University of Namibia where students are constantly attacked by criminals. He also drove to Oshetu open market at single quarters in Katutura where petty crimes such as snatching of cell phones and handbags have become common problem here. For him, the bug starts and stops here. He wants to see tangible action even if it requires him to command the army to intervene. Donateni Shidudu, NBC News, Vinduk.